and welcome to uh, another video here from Nordic Angles. My name is Daniel, and this is a news video. And today we have uh, we have stepped outside the office to uh, to visit the big office outside, and because that would be the proper settings to showcase this. This is the new Sage uh, R8 Salt, and um, basically it's the same technology as the R8 rod. Um, and Sage has a lot, has written a lot about that and talks a lot about that on, on their homepage. I'm not gonna go into all the details about why this fiber is different from a lot of other stuff and, and, and things. Sage does that uh, quite eloquent and, uh, and if you want that, that sort of info, you should, you should check out uh, Sage's website. What I can tell you is, I've been casting and fishing this for the past couple of hours and this is a very, very potent, this is a very, very nice fishing rod. Um, it's designed for salt water, which means that it has a bit, bit more oomph, a bit more power than the regular R8 rod. Um, and also, uh, it also comes to show in, in the settings of the rod. Um, this is a rod that is very powerful, has a lot of casting potential, and can really cast flies far. And those are the, uh, those are, those are the things that I am looking for in, in a coastal rod for, uh, for, for sea trout fishing. So I think that Sage has done an, an amazing job. This is uh, definitely, definitely a rod that needs to be compared to the Scott Sector, that needs to be compared to the Olvis, that needs to be compared to the uh, Loomis Asquith, um, because this is a, a, a magnificent rod. Um, I like the tapering a lot. It's not as fast as, uh, for instance, the Igniter. Um, it has a bit more feel to it, but you definitely, definitely feel that it has a tremendous amount of power here in the in the lower uh, lower part of uh, of the rod, and uh, and this will do very well with larger flies, in particular in very rough and windy conditions. So, after been casting this for uh, for for some time, I have decided that I'm going to own one of these. I I do not currently have a, a seven weight. Uh, and for some of the really rough weather here in uh, in Denmark for for sea trout fishing, when you're fishing into winds and stuff like that, this is going to be my new rod for exactly that type of fishing. So <laughs> it was a bit expensive for me to test this out, but I kind of had the feeling that that you know I had to own one of these, and now I'm going to go home and, and order one. Um, so the new Sage R8 Salt, great great rod. It is a bit pricey. But I mean, quality costs money, and uh, and uh, and and Sage seems to take that to heart at least. Um, nice fittings, really, really nice yule seat. Just overall, uh, just a great, great impression of, of, of the craftsmanship in this rod as well. Hello. <laughs> Other people are out today as well, as you see. Um, but uh, another thing I want to tell you about in, in, in this news video is these. This is my personal old um, Waterworks Force, uh, Eula Force 3 reel. And I've had this reel for more than 22 years. And I still use it quite a lot. But the reason why I brought it today um, is because basically I needed a reel for a new line. But also because um, Waterworks has just announced that they're going to pre-release a very very limited amount of the original of the original waterworks Eula Force in exactly the same um, in exactly the same materials and exactly the same as the old one. This is exciting news because these reels are really really highly sought after. Um, I have uh, both the two and the three, um, and they're going to release these again. The only difference between this and the new one is the new one is going to have printed laser printed into the. Uh, into the casing somewhere that it's a limited edition because it is it's a limited rerun of uh, of one of the most sought after fly reels out there and uh, and I have them in the shop already so you can pre-order it because the stocks of these are going to be so limited then if you want one of these um, I foresee that these are going to be sold before they will actually hit the store so um, if this is an item that you are in the market for I urge you to go and get one, and we will ship it as soon as it lands in, in our warehouse. Um, the, the latest confirmed uh, uh, release date or, or delivery date is, is about April. So um, uh, so that's when probably when they're going to be shipped. There can be delays and stuff, of course, but, but that's, 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 the, the, that's, that's the, the word on, on the street or on the wire or whatever you want to call it. 
just now. They're also going to release uh, two sizes of the purest reel, which is basically the same reel, but it has, does not have a brake other than a clicker. It's the lightest reel on the market and, and really, really one of the flagships and one of the uh, one of the unicorns of, uh, of light fly fishing because they are so sought after. They're, they're almost never sold uh, used because people who have them, own them, love them and never part with them. These are available as well, again, in a very, very limited uh, quantity on the website. So basically, two exciting new things. A new sage rod has been lost, uh, launched a new great sage rod has been launched, launched and then the new, uh, the old waterworks reels in a very limited um, edition um, has been uh, has been reissued again. So I think I'm going to try to get a fish now. Um, the conditions here look really well. I'm going to give it about an hour or two more before I have to head back to the office. Um, the fishing right now is pretty good for uh, here in uh, on the coastline in Denmark. Uh, I hope the fishing where you're located is is, is great as well. Um, remember to swing by Nordic Anglers if ever you need anything fly fishing or fly tying related. We try to have everything in stock there is in the entire world. <laughs> um, but otherwise, I thank you very much for watching this video and wish you all the best of luck out on the water.